Clearwater, Florida lies right on the Gulf of Mexico, just northwest of Tampa and St. Petersburg. Their city's beaches are consistently ranked among America's most beautiful, offering miles of sugar white sands, tranquil Gulf breezes, and crystal clear water. Cleveland Street is one of the city's historic avenues, with many bars and restaurants forming a vibrant nightlife scene. Many famous actors have called Clearwater home, including Tom Cruise, Kirstie Alley, along with wrestling legend Hulk Hogan. Right in my hometown, Clearwater Beach. Even our old quarterback, Tom Brady, now resides in Clearwater. Tonight, Dirty Water TV has ditched the cold and is back in the sunshine state, and we'll take you to beautiful Clearwater, Florida. Then, we'll side trip cross state to the warm waters of Jupiter, Florida. It's all made possible by our good friends at Shipyard and Sea Dog Brewing, Ice Pick Vodka, and Florida Craft Distributors. Stand by for some sun and fun. Dirty Water TV is next. Dirty Water TV, Dirty Water Going worldwide, Dirty Water. And I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm Gianna Gravelisi, and we are on the road again, taking you outside of that freezing cold New England weather and bringing you to the beautiful sunshine state of Florida. Tonight, we are here at the Courtyard Clearwater Hotel, Beach, and Marina. I mean, look at these absolutely stunning views. I will have more on this amazing hotel later. But it is all brought to you by our good friends at Shipyard and Sea Dog Brewing, eight time distilled, smooth as silk, ice pick vodka, and Florida Craft Distributors. I will be checking out some of the best restaurants, outdoor adventures, and nightlife that this state has to offer. But first, we're headed to the brand new Sea Dog Cantina in Clearwater. And that's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. The brand new Sea Dog Cantina located in Clearwater, Florida is a lively restaurant and tequila bar. They specialize in Mexican-inspired cuisine, handcrafted margaritas, along with craft beers from the Sea Dog and Shipyard breweries. The Sea Dog Cantina is known for their local tequila infusion for a truly unique cocktail experience. That's good. On this day, bar manager Michelle Emlin crafted an ice pick dirty water martini and a dirty water margarita. Made with the ice pick vodka dirty martini. We have over 100 tequilas. We use all premium tequilas here. Along with their Sea Dog Mug Club. Get this, they've started a margarita club. As you can see, they're all numbered and it works the same way as the mug club for beer, except for you get 32 ounces of margarita for the same price that you uh, would do for an, uh, an, a 10 ounce margarita. The Sea Dog Cantina has meticulously built a culinary dream kitchen and menu with maximum flavor. We're lucky enough to have a world-class chef, Jose Rodriguez, and Jose has uh, made up a couple of his uh, family's homemade recipes that uh, our customers are loving. We just started brunch uh, about three weeks ago and it's actually triple fold and, and people are getting the word out there and I, it's just not your normal everyday brunch that you see. And uh, like I said, it's made with a lot of love and something that you don't always see, especially from a Mexican restaurant. St. Pete foodies have given the Sea Dog Cantina a perfect 10 for what they describe as Mexican food heaven. The Sea Dog Cantina has also built a direct-to-consumer experience for those on-the-go treats. Which is a, a big part of what we're going for, what we're trying to do is getting the customers um, to know all the uh, items that we carry in our inventory, but um, a way for people that maybe not, that are not close to us, uh, a way for us to reach out to them with food, but, but also with retail, uh, hot sauces. We have our own hot sauces, our own spices. We can deliver things to people's homes. We're very close to the beach, so what we want you know customers to do is come on in, grab some party packs to go, their lunch, and then a half a gallon of margarita to go. And if you're looking for a catered adventure, there is a state-of-the-art Sea Dog Cantina food truck. Our food truck is a way of bringing our delicious food from Cantina um, to different places, different events. What are some of your most popular menu items? 
Well, definitely I would say the tacos, um, the chicken taco, the brisket taco. We do have uh, delicious enchiladas, beef, um, chicken. Our burritos are amazing. Our food is made from scratch, it's delicious, and you won't regret it. Back here, we're in the midst of cleaning the cleaning up the kitchen. Last year, the big sea dog, Fred Forsley, took us on a tour of the cantina as it was being born. We're really excited about this location, so come down and visit us. To today, the evolution of the sea dog cantina. Cheers to our crew in uh, Clearwater, Florida, here at the cantina, sea dog cantina, Highway 19. Last time we were here with Dirty Water TV, we were under construction. Now we've been open for six months, survived, COVID and we're ready to have you come enjoy. Today, this amazing physical transformation is only matched by its innovative flavors, tequila and fantastic team that is the spectacular Sea Dog Cantina in Clearwater, Florida. Our goal is to really bring the cantina to you or come enjoy it in Clearwater here with us. Cheers. That's tonight's Big Ticket brought to you by Hicks Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Hi, I'm Higgs, so call me, get tickets, and be part of the action. We are having such a blast here at the Courtyard Clearwater Hotel Beach and Marina. Let's go check out some of the local establishments that Clearwater has to offer. The Brown Boxer is Clearwater Beach's premier sports pub and grill. Owner Jay Thomas has provided Clearwater with a local family-friendly retreat for all, including our four-legged friends. What makes you know, the brown box are so special. Well, I think it's a combination of two things. Number one, we're on, you know, the best beach in America. Uh, we're in the heart of it here on North Beach. Uh, the facility is, you know, almost 20,000 square feet, two stories, five bars, and we run it local-wise. It's a family-type atmosphere. Good food, good drinks, including shipyard and sea dog brews keep the good times flowing. The Brown Boxer is also a stalwart in the community when it comes to giving back. On February 5th, they will hold a benefit in honor of the life of Molly Dodge, who lost a valiant fight with ovarian cancer. All proceeds will go to the Moffitt Cancer Center of Tampa Bay in her name. The Moffitt Center is known worldwide, and especially down here, is, I mean, it's, it's the best. And if you're going to have anything done down you know, definitely in Florida or, or southern of uh, the U.S., the Moffitt is the place to go. Born and raised in Pittsfield, Maine, Molly was diagnosed with ovarian cancer and was given less than six months to live. However, her sheer will and determination to live carried her on for many a year. Molly's life partner, Walter Crockett, talked about her legacy and tenacity. You know, I relate it to back home in Maine. We, have, we went to Massachusetts, you know, we went to, the, to Dana Faber. That's where Molly had her original surgery where and originally they gave her six months to live and she made it for eight years because of the work they did up there. The Moffitt Cancer Center of Tampa Bay has a lasting commitment to the prevention and cure of cancer. Molly Dodge, which we all knew and loved, so we kind of dedicated this event to her. But in addition to that, just in our small little island of 9,500 people, we've had five, six people affected by cancer. Many of them treated at Moffitt, a few of them surviving and ringing the bell. So we want to help the people in the community but certainly anything we do to support Moffitt Cancer Center, we're all in. Cancer affects everybody and um, they're, they're making inroads and the only way they're going to continue to do that is with the help of people like us. So we got to do what we can and get out there. I don't want anybody to forget her. So. If you would like to take part in this great cause, please join the Moffitt Cancer Center Gala on Saturday, February 5th from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Brown Boxer North Beach in Clearwater, Florida. For tickets and information, contact Doug Stewart at 305-608-4304. Up next, I'll take you inside the stunning Courtyard Clearwater Beach and Marina Hotel. And later, I'll talk with Shipyard founder Fred Forsley. That's when Dirty Water TV presented by Shipyard Brewing, Ice Pick Vodka, and Florida Craft Distributors returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kendra Middleton, coming to you from sunny Florida, brought to you by our good friends at Shipyard Brewing, Ice Pick Vodka, and Florida Craft. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Gianna Gravelisi, and we are poolside here at the brand new Clearwater Courtyard Beach Hotel and Marina. Let's check out the inside of this beautiful brand new establishment. 
The spectacular Courtyard Clearwater Beach Marina is located just two blocks from the beach and overlooks the intercoastal waterway. We have some really different attributes that other hotels in our competitive set don't have. Um, we have an awesome rooftop bar which is set to open in about two, three weeks, so we're really excited about that. And we also sit right on the intercoastal waterway with our own marina in our backyard. Uh, that's definitely not something other hotels can say that they have. So, and then of course, we're just three walking blocks to the beach, which is one of America's best beaches three three years in a row. They offer modern, comfortable accommodations close to everything you love on Clearwater Beach. The Courtyard Clearwater Beach features a 50-boat slip marina, brand new guest rooms and suites with free Wi-Fi. We're super excited to be here on Clearwater Beach. We're obviously one of the newest, uh, most unique hotels on Clearwater Beach, so we're just happy to be here and be open. It's a great 139-room new Marriott property, uh, just steps from the beach, uh, having a fantastic roof top bar, a 50 slip marina, and 139 beautiful guest rooms. Check out their stunning outdoor pool, along with a 360 view rooftop bar. Have an ice cold shipyard or sea dog brew, or try an ice pick vodka specialty cocktail. I think you're going to have some of the best uh, handmade craft cocktails, uh, some of the best uh, views in all the beach area, and uh, you'll be able to have a lot of fun with friends and make great memories um, while enjoying great service. Where the sights are just amazing. Not only is Clearwater known for its beautiful beaches, but it's also known for being the home to many different celebrities, including Hulk Hogan. And we're gonna go check out his restaurant right now. Let me tell you something, brother. There's only one place to hang out on the beach, and that's right here at Hogan's Hangout. When it comes to in off Clearwater Beach, you'll enjoy the best beach eats and drinks, including the Hogan Special Ice Pick Frozen Lemonade. Tell me a little bit about working at this place. How's it been? Uh, it's fantastic working here because the beach is great. You know, we just went through the holidays, so it's one of the busiest times. And everyone's in a really great mood, and everyone's festive. Does Hulk Hogan ever come here? He does. He comes in quite often, actually. Uh, he always comes in unannounced so you will never know when he's going to be here. And we're with him right now, actually, so it's it's just great. I mean, what else can people look forward to when they come in here? Uh, great service and great food. What's your favorite thing about working here? As being on the beach. 90% uh, of my clientele is on vacation, so they're not very stressed out. There are two floors of the coolest destination on the beach, offering an extensive menu with something for everyone. Don't miss out on your chance to own the limited edition collection of exclusive Hogan's Hangout merch. What you gonna do, brother, when the greatest beach shop of all time runs wild on mm, you, brother? Up next, I'll go one-on-one -on -one with Shipyard Brewing founder Fred Forsley. That's when Dirty Water TV, presented by Shipyard Brewing, Ice Pick Vodka, and Florida Craft Distributors, returns. On February 5th, the Brown Boxer will hold a benefit in honor of the life of Molly Dodge, who lost a valiant fight with ovarian cancer. All proceeds will go to the Moffitt Cancer Center of Tampa Bay in her name. Molly's life partner, Walter Crockett, talked about her legacy and tenacity. And originally, they gave her six months to live, and she made it for eight years. I don't want anybody to forget her. If you would like to take part in this great cause, please join the Moffitt Cancer Center Gala on Saturday, February 5th from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Brown Boxer North Beach in Clearwater, Florida. For tickets and information, contact Doug Stewart at 305-608-4304. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Gianna Gravelisi. Clearwater is such a beautiful and up and coming city known for some of the best beaches. And I had an opportunity to sit down with the mayor to find out what the future holds for their city. Well, year after year, we're in the top five of beaches for around the entire country. We've got a great historic downtown. We're really known for live music throughout the city from Ruth Eckerd Hall to the Capitol Theater and to imagine Clearwater, which is a new $84 million project, which is only a block and a half from here. We have a very unusual downtown in that it sits on a bluff 60 feet above our intercoastal waterway, and Coachman Park sits on Clearwater Bay, which is a beautiful 22-acre park that is gonna have botanical gardens, playgrounds, splash pads for kids, and also a 4,000-seat 
amphitheater with up to 11,000 additional participants that can sit on a green with just a beautiful backdrop of the bay. How has your experience been being the mayor of this great city? Well, we keep evolving. Uh, we're trying to improve the business atmosphere and all of the offerings that we have for our residents, but also for all of those who visit the greater Clearwater area. We think this is a wonderful place to vacation, very family friendly, but a lot to do. Well, we're certainly a lot more comfortable right now than uh, up in New England. Definitely. Well, thank you so much. We it's my it. pleasure. Thank you for being here. You know, Florida is such an amazing place. I mean, look at it. I actually got a chance to sit down with the big sea dog himself, Fred Forsley, and he's going to tell me how he's going to make Florida even better. We're in a unique spot where we've kind of repositioned the company. We've been in business close to 30 years now. We started at Federal Jacks uh, back in June of 92. It was the first time we had our first shipyard export ale, uh, June 15th of 1992. And then it's been a whirlwind since then, and we've gotten to visit the properties in Florida with uh, Dirty Water TV and had great times. But my favorite thing I love to do is create brands and be involved with brands. So in the last uh, three or four years, we've created Ice Pick with Sean Corbett as the president who, who had a passion for spirits. Now that's our fastest growing brand. And, one of our more exciting companies. Brand Ice Pick is uh, unique in the sense that it's eight times distilled, a few more times than some of our competitors. So what's better than six, eight for sure. With Ice Pick, we're very excited about the growth we're having in Florida with it. We're in New Hampshire doing really well and in Massachusetts doing very, very well and featured at uh, the Greatest Bar and a number of other great bars in Boston. The most exciting thing that's happened in the last few years is our growth in the UK. We're actually brewing as much beer in the UK as we do in the United States, so really exciting from our standpoint. There's a lot of fun we're having. Shipyard is a family business, and you know, why should people drink your products as opposed to any other product? Our products are built with an age-old tradition, handcrafted. We don't use any adjuncts or preservatives in our products. A number of our beers have been proven to be brewed over and over consistently the same every time. If you have an export today, it's the same product you had 30 years ago or very similar. My goal is to be doing this 30 years from now. I'm 91 <laughs> instead of 61. So the goal really is to keep doing what we're doing. Not everybody's going to love our products. It's, it's, we've created beers and we've created ice pick to kind of hit people that they'll try it and if they love it, they'll keep buying it. By us continuing to be here is, I guess, evidence that they like it. So as a small family owned company, we're gonna keep doing it. What are you most looking forward to from the relationship with Dirty Water? I look at Florida as the land of opportunity for Shipyard and Sea Dog and Ice Pick. We have a great, amazing relationship with Dirty Water TV and we're excited to be growing our company with Dirty Water. We've got ideas for having a lifestyle show that's live Florida and we're gonna tie it to direct to consumer and allow people to get our products throughout Florida. And if this is a success, we'll bring it to other states. But the reality is we work hard and we play hard and we love what we do. So doing that with Dirty Water makes it so much more fun. Up next, we're off to Jupiter, Florida. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Discover Lakeside Leisure in Palm Beach Gardens at the Hilton Garden Inn, right in the center of all the major attractions, from golf to beaches in the Palm Gardens Mall. Relax in their lakefront pool and whirlpool. And enjoy the Garden Grill and Bar, a full-service lobby lounge with terrace dining. Enjoy a handcrafted ice pick cocktail or an ice-cold sea dog brew looking over the picturesque, tranquil Lake Victoria. Book your next adventure at the Hilton Garden Inn. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Gianna Gravelisi, and we have headed across the state of Florida to Jupiter. It's known for its beautiful natural landscapes, laid back beaches, and timeless lighthouse views. Right now, we're gonna head on over to Blue Point Bar and Grill to eat and drink more ice pick.
The Blue Point Bar and Grill is a unique waterfront experience where you can sit out on the point enjoying 270 degree views of the intercoastal waterway. People have memberships at this marina here where they come in and rent boats so while they're waiting for their boat to get ready they can come in before, have some drinks, have some lunch, kids hop in the pool. So it's like a very family friendly and also younger crowd vibe. We have all people of all different ages that come have fun in here. Experience the ocean breeze while having incredible food and drinks poolside including eight-time distilled ice pick vodka, along with Shipyard and Sea Dog Brews. It's doing really, really well. Um, actually, all of my tables have uh, purchased it, so um, definitely a, a really exciting thing for us here. I walked in here 20 minutes ago and already sold four of the blood orange. Cool off on those hot Florida days by taking a dip in their pool. Does this remind you of our good friends at Trader Ed's? Speaking of Trader Ed's, the Grand Poobah of the Cape made an appearance utilizing the Blue Point shuttle service. Hey, I'm Johnny Shea at the Blue Point with Ashley, and we love, love that it. dirty water tea. Oh, yeah. The Blue Point features the best live music acts and DJs. We have live music every day of the week, so um, compared to most venues in South Florida, you know, that's what definitely stands out here. Spend a day relaxing where you'll have a blast at the Blue Point. Sadly, it is time to leave Blue Point and it is time to close out the show. We have had such a great time down here in Florida and I just want to give a special thank you to everyone over at Shipyard, Sea Dog, Ice Pick and Florida Craft and to the big dog himself, Fred Forsley. If you want to see where we're going next in Florida or anywhere in New England, make sure to check out our website, dirtywatermedia.com and follow us on all social platforms at Dirty Water Media. I'm your host, Gianna Gravelisi and the weekend may be over, but the party never ends on Dirty Water TV. We do have a saying here on Dirty Water TV, the weekend may be over, but the party